This is a quick clip on how to use the Octi Hoops for quilting. You do receive three frames in the kit. You receive one larger, one medium, and one small frame. And right now I have the medium beneath the quilt, the small one on top of the quilt. Before you begin quilting, you bring the corners of each frame into one another and then slide it around and see how easily it moves along the surface of the, of the machine. That way you'll realize that you don't need to apply any downward pressure as you as you quilt. And then your other you're gonna hold with the other hand with the handle. However, I find that if you first learn without the handle, and this may sound a little bit crazy, but I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna use my left hand. If you're right-handed, use your left. If you're left-handed, use your right for the first time. And I wouldn't practice on a quilt that's you know a real quilt I would practice on a piece of material that doesn't really matter to you and then you're going to hold on and see how you can actually lift up the quilt once you feel once you get that you can hold that without actually pushing down then you'll realize the quilt's actually floating over the surface of the of the machine <clears throat> and it'll be easier for you to manipulate or move the quilt as you sew and then you just uh, don't push down at all and I can follow around even though I'm really right handed. And I think this is because the hand we don't write with is, has always been supporting the hand we do write with. And the fact that we don't have to push down at all, there's, so there's no drag of the quilt along the surface. You can see I'm able to precisely go around this material even though I'm not left-handed and I'm using my left hand. Hop to the next shape and do a couple stitches in place and move around. So this is free motion quilting with a regular sewing machine, a straight stitch. I'm using metallic thread and a 9014 stretch needle. And the reason I'm using a stretch needle is it's a flatter needle on the back in right here so it tends to not cause the material to pop up as much. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning that and uh, when you go to use the hoop the normal way which gives you even more precision you put your handle in here and you rest your hand as you write and use the other hand to continue to hold the frames together and since I'm holding a cell phone I can't show you that I hope you enjoyed learning a this brief video on how to free motion quilt using the Octi Hoop kit.